The Silicon Valley Bank will not be bailed out by the Federal Reserve. What effect will this have on the market? Well, I think a lot more shoes are about to drop. Although, I do want to make one statement here. This is not like 2008, as this quote says here. Banks are very well capitalized, and we're just not in that same situation. So I, I do want to make all these comments with that caveat. Although, I do, I do believe that Silicon Valley Bank could be very detrimental and the failure of that bank could be very detrimental to the companies who one hold a lot of cash at that bank or um, have a significant uh, or are receiving a significant amount of investment from that bank um, so first off just talking high level here roblox has five percent of their cash at silicon valley bank which is 12 percent of their market cap Additionally, Roku has 26% of their cash, which is 5% of their market cap. And I'm putting it in terms of market cap to kind of tell you how important this cash value is to the company, right? Because if a company has $1 million, let's say it's Google at SVB, it doesn't really matter much, right? But if a company like Roku has $487 million, relative to their $8 billion market cap, well, that's 5% of their company, almost 6%. So that's pretty important, right? Um, so wanted to point that out. And then also uh, SM or SGMO, honestly never heard of this ticker before, has about $34 million at SVB, which is almost 9% of the company's value. So that's very significant, right? And then SYRS, has about 5.3% of their company value held in cash at SVB. So all pretty important, right? Um, so also another company that's going to be drastically affected by this is Root, ticker R-O-O-T. So out of all of the firm's um, holdings, Root is the largest in they, ha they hold the stake about 6.7% of the company, so 6.7% of root shares are owned by SVB. Therefore, the company having to liquidate assets would be very detrimental, and you could see almost 7% of root be sold over the next couple of days. In fact, it could already be happening. It could have already started to happen on Friday, but um, time will tell with that. But out of, out of all the companies I just named, let's look at some charts and see if there are any good stocks that we could go short on by puts on that make sense based on technical analysis. 8% of Rocket Labs cash is held at SVB, which is 2% of their market cap. And as we look at the chart here, the stock did just fall from its 200 day, its 50 day, its 150 day moving average. So pretty much all moving averages, the stock just fell below. And we're now coming down to test support at about 350, which is where shares bottomed out on June 30th and dis late in December of 2022. Therefore, if we get a move below this level, we could see some more pressure on shares. So if we saw a move below 350 on Monday, I would feel pretty confident that Rocket Labs continues to move lower. And then looking at DNA, so this company has 6% of its cash at SVB, which is 3.3% of their market cap. And as you can see, the stock has been um, trading lower over the past couple months and lining up this kind of descending trend line here, which had touch points back in March of 2022, broke it just briefly in May, had touch points back in June and touch points earlier this year in January. Now that we trade below all daily moving averages, if we get a move below this descending trend line, I do believe we could see a larger move lower over the next couple weeks. And then just going through this quickly here, SGMO, so 8.9% of the stock's market cap um, in terms of uh, it, 8.9% of the stock's market cap, when you consider cash held at SVB, that's 8.9% of the company, um, is held at Silicon Valley Bank. Therefore, that's a pretty significant uh, chunk of change there for them. Um, and the stock did just fall below support, which is basically where the stock had bottomed out in late December of this year. 
and um, late February of this year. So if we continue to see the stock move lower, I do, and we already really have seen the stock fall below the support level, I do believe we will continue to see downside um, for this company. And then just going through this very quickly here. So this one played out pretty good here on Friday. SYRS, 5.3% of the market cap um, is tied up at SVB. Like, I, like I've been saying in terms of cash held at SVB. Um, so the stock fell below support, which was about $3, which was, is where the stock had bottomed out on December 20th. I believe if we see an open below $3, we should see even more downside for this company. And then Root here to close it out, 7% um, of the company is owned by SVB Capital, which is um, SVB's in investment arm. Um, so the stock had bottomed out back at about 405 on December 28th. Looks like we closed below that level here on Friday. So as long as we don't open up below uh, above this level now, I do believe we will see even more downside for Root. So how I will we'll, we'll be playing these names will vary, um, you know, depending on trading activity on Monday. Um, but I will likely be buying some puts in these names. And my favorite kind of out of the bunch would be Root and S. GMO looked pretty good, um, and really, if Rocket Labs could move below this 350 level, um, very firm support, I would feel very confident in that one as well. So, that being said, I'll end the video there. If you want to see what I'm doing, how I'm trading, my exits, my entry points, join the Discord, which is linked in the description below. If you would like to join our free daily newsletter, you can sign up at opportunistictrades.com, which is linked in the description below. And I have also put a link to this file here for all the retail traders so you can kind of see what firms um, will be affected by the SVB failure. So that being said, I'll end the video there. Appreciate you watching all the way through. Leave a like and subscribe. Peace.